Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capace channel in Malaysia. Newer images of the incoming Motu Origins Snake Man wave have been circulating on Entertainment Earth. Fully detailed pictures of the figures in the wave are up. Everything except for the snake armor He-Man, it seems, uh, for whatever reasons, I'm not sure. But I figured that I'd share some thoughts on the pictures that are out there. Before that, also a special shout out to all of the channel members here. I truly appreciate you guys coming on board and helping this channel to grow and continue producing content at its current pace. It really means a lot to me, guys, and I thank you for your kind support. Okay, first up, we're going to be checking out the title of the brand new mini comic that's included in this wave rise of the snake man now i talked about this actually in an earlier video from this week where we were examining the carded images of the snake man wave and i remember mentioning that hey look i think the mini comic is going to be all about bolt man like no matter what else is happening or whoever else is in the wave bolt man is going to be the star of the show and look true enough he's the star of the cover okay he's like right there in the center and i kind of wish that you know, when it comes to the Rulers of the Sun characters, they seem to be dominating the mini-comics. And I know that Mattel's trying to give them a proper introduction into the whole universe. Fair enough. But I kind of wish that they'd use something like a technique where the characters will introduce more like cool supporting characters that made you want to find out more about them. But in this way, it's kind of like a total takeover. And, you know, the title says Rise of the Snake Man. But, you know, I'm not really getting a Rise of the Snake Man vibe here. It feels more like the birth. Of Boltman. I'm quite impressed by how the colors on Ratlaw look really striking. Of course, I'll have to get this guy in hand personally to really be sure, but you can see the amount of new and unique tooling that went into this figure for an Origins release, especially on the main body area and legs. Um, I do find it kind of strange though that he's got very human-like hands. Ratlaw's tail section looks like it turned out really nice. If you notice as well, it has paint shading on the lower end of the tail there where the red and yellow colors bleed together. Now, I don't think that I've seen this on an Origins figure since the Wave 7 Sorceress figure. Yeah, sadly, I don't think the tail is articulated. I can't be sure, but it seems more like a figure stand, you know, in case the figure falls backward when the neck is extended. Yeah, uh, but you know what? We're getting tailed creature figures back to back after Whiplash in the last wave, so that's cool. As I mentioned in the last video, Ratlaw is a figure that looks best when viewed from the side. Never straight on from the front, but only from the side. Somehow, they couldn't get the head to be positioned so that it's facing more towards the front. You know, it's still looking upwards mostly, and he's got a kind of a confused expression on his face. He's kind of like, huh? When I first did the Snake Man coverage video some weeks back, you know, based off the footage that was seen in STCC 2022, I thought that the extended neck was going to be executed with a separate spare head, like, you know, an extra Ratlaw head with a long neck. Then last week, we saw the images of the Origins Mecha neck, and I saw the grey tube thing that attaches like piping between his neck and body, and I realized, oh, okay, so that's how they're doing it. Oh man, that's... Dumb. Seriously though, I hate this thing. I mean, this thing looks like a strip of rubbers that you get from the convenience store at midnight. You know what I mean? <laughs> but what can you do, all right? This is how they want to execute the gimmick or the action feature. I guess, you know, in time to come, when they release stuff like Extender, unless he's a deluxe figure, what, you know, if he's a standard figure, is he going to come like with six of these extension plugs? What do you reckon? Okay, next up, we've got the images here of Boltman, who kind of looks to me like an 80s aerobics instructor who's maybe hopped up on amphetamines, you know? <laughs> Actually, Boltman kind of looks to me like he could have been a supporting character on Miami Vice. You know, the beauty of Miami Vice as a TV series in the 80s was that you could have a character dressed up like Boltman in costume, walking the streets, and no one would bat an eyelid. In fact, Boltman and Rulers of the Sun originally came out in 1986 and Miami Vice debuted a year prior in 85. So it definitely has something of the vibe of the era. Actually also, Boltman kind of reminds me a lot of Jimmy Smith's, you know? Well, Bale Organa and Star Wars, NYPD Blue in the 90s, but like a younger Jimmy Smith's from the 80s. And in fact, okay, when I think about it, Jimmy Smith's was also in the very first pilot episode of Miami Vice. Okay, he was like Sonny Crockett's first partner. And then he gets himself killed, like blown away in like the first 10 minutes into the start of the show. But yeah, I mean, this guy, I mean, there's something about him, like an 80s Jimmy Smith's to me. 
Now, Boltman's chest armor looks like it hangs over and attaches to him the same way that Sunman's armor does. So, I would expect it to be made of the same high quality, you know, hard plastic as well. And that's reassuring because I've mentioned before a few times that the quality of the parts and accessories for the figures from the Sunman collection have always been higher than that of the standard Masters of the Universe figure. Now, this has remained consistent across the three initial figures that came out, Sunman, Big Hit, and Digitino. And I don't have the Space Sumo figure yet. Okay, that one is out as part of the Target exclusive three pack right now. But I'm guessing the quality control on that one is stepped up as well. On the back of the Boltman figure, you see the rear section of the armor has something of a backpack in order for you to store his handheld bolt weapons. Now, there's a part of the bolt accessory that has a curved section to it, like a hook. I'm assuming that that's supposed to go into the backpack slot in order to hold it in place. But I think that it's great that he comes with his own storage system for weapons. I usually look out for stuff like that in an action figure because, you know, sometimes the action figure has got stuff to hold on to. But then, you know, if you want him in a particular pose, you can't place the weapons anywhere except just to chuck it onto the floor, right? So it's great when the figure comes with his own storage compartment for weapons. I always look out for stuff like that. Naturally, if I had a choice, I would not be rushing out to get a character like Boltman as an action figure. I mean, I actually don't have a personal preference for most of the human-like figures other than a few key ones, you know. I mean, you guys, I mean, you're aware of this, right? I'm only in it for the monsters mainly. But I know that I'm definitely going to have to review him on the channel. So I will just say that I'm maybe warming up to the character a little bit more. We'll see. Okay, the last of the new images that were shared were that of Cobra Khan. Now, the new Origins Cobra Khan comes with an all-new kind of like spray effect. It's something that you attach into his mouth like a plastic translucent piece that simulates the appearance of him shooting out his paralyzing mist or venom at his victims. He also gets the recolored orange colored laser pistol, the one that originally came with Zodak. I always thought that this laser looking gun uh, kind of like was a strange addition for this figure because none of the other Snake Man I think came with like futuristic looking weapons. This weapon kind of made him look a little bit sci-fi. So in a way, it was unique. But you know what? I had the original Cobra Khan figure at one point many, many years ago. It was complete. I don't know why at the point I wasn't really so into the Snake Man figures and I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to take my classic Masters of the Universe collection to. So I kind of traded him off. I sold him off and got something else instead. Uh, something that I regret, definitely, especially now when I need the figure for the new batch of reviews. But um, the classic figure had the spray effect. Uh, you remove his head, pour some water inside you know, the slot that actually went into his body. That's why his body looks so puffed up. I talked about that in the earlier video as well. You know, they retain the section of his body that looks like it's supposed to be able to contain water, but this new figure does not have the water spray effect. Somebody in the comment section mentioned something about a Cobra Khan canteen. I think that's a great idea, you know, if they want to make that into a merchandising opportunity, a water canteen shaped like Cobra Khan. And, you know, you have this section that was like the nozzle or something like that, which is actually his mouth. It sprays water directly into your mouth when you try to drink from it. A uh, great idea. But you know what? Um, this new figure, the blast effect thing or, you know, the translucent spray effect that they got going on here. This is something that I've noticed happening a lot with action figures of late. I think the first time that I remember seeing something like this was maybe about 20 years ago. Uh, you know, from my own recollections as a collector, uh, when they did the Attack of the Clones uh, action figures from Hasbro, the Star Wars line, and then I think the Django Fat figures came with something similar like a blast effect, a simulated blast effect that was like translucent, you could attach it to the weapons. And that was the first time that I realized that, well, you know, the action figures were becoming more suitable for display options because you had like stuff that was simulated to appear like it was shooting out of their weapons. Now, um, you know how the packaging for these figures say that they are supposed to feature retro play, okay? Uh, and I think prior to this, in a lot of the cases, we've seen that the new Origins figures actually have been able to incorporate the classic action features, except for a couple of them that were supposed to have like spring-loaded arms like Fisto and Jitsu. Okay, fine. So they left those out. But for the most part, I think the original figures that were supposed to have the action features, they did successfully replicate them. But um, in this particular case, uh, we're seeing something different here in that we're no longer getting the action features, but we're getting like replications of the action feature taking place. So it's kind of like, you know, 
how the video was sort of titled replications of retro plays not necessarily retro plays not exactly the way that you used to play with these figures back in the day and in the case of Cobra Khan it's sad because I would love to do a video with a new origin style figure shooting out stuff from his mouth okay and not just from a, like a translucent plastic piece that I got attached in there Okay, guys, so that's the video. Let me know what you guys think of these new images of the incoming Snake Man wave. And I do believe that this wave is incoming real soon. Probably some hobby stars are going to get their hands on them. And whoever manages to score the figures, you know, let's just see some reviews happening. And I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content out there. Thank you and take care.